when I first heard of it, initially I thought it was a joke. But my office said, hey, can you, can you remove uh, Gorilla Glue from somebody's cap? I said, of course. And I woke up. I thought it, I brushed it off. And the next thing you know, they were asking questions. I looked up the compound, okay, the main active ingredient in Gorilla Glue, you know, polyurethane, and we figured out the science, how to break it down. So I then decided, you know, I now we're going to reinvent the, uh, the, the wheel. So we, has, we bought chemicals that has components to dissolve or a good solvent. It's a medical grade adhesive remover mm. that we use in the operating room. Uh, the company was very generous to us. They brought me some. They even saw me mix it up today uh, when they were here. Um, and then the active ingredient, I have another ingredient called MGD. I had an MGD to it, okay, which is uh, aloe vera and olive oil mixture, okay. And then we add a little, a little um, acetone, a little acetone. Unfortunately, I don't know why Gorilla Glue doesn't have a solution to it. And actually, I did make a phone call to Gorilla Glue. Uh -huh. They were nice enough to return my call, but I never talked to them. You know, uh, like I said, I have a chemistry background, so I knew that. Any compound, any compound can be broken down. And we went and got hair. So this is all hair, okay? Very typical black hair, okay? Real hair. Real hair. This is real human hair. Okay. You know, like everything we do, real human hair, we got it. We stuck it here, okay? And then we use hair extension. So this is hair extension, okay, with Gorilla Glue, okay? I can spend this all day. My kids were playing with last night. <laughs> and we went ahead with the chemicals that we made. We started using it. All this was matted down. All this was matted down, okay? We sprayed the first, and it started untangling. And I knew we had a product that would work. Surgery went well. Uh, she had a lot of rotation on the scalp, especially the edges of her hair, of her head, uh, because of all the chemicals that she has put in. And the hair was actually very, very tough, very, very matted down, and it would not lift up. You know, she's very, very lucky that she did not sustain a lot of injuries to her scalp. This type of ordeal is no joke, okay? For yeah. To have injury to your hair, you have stiffness that pulls your, your, scalp, your, uh, your scalp every single day. You can't sleep. And she just showed me a photograph. She had a ponytail that was like a stick. So imagine having a stick stuck to your head and you're trying to sleep, you know? Mm -hmm. The many nights that she couldn't sleep, the anxiety. Right before surgery, we had to give her a medication just to relax her, okay? So she's been through a lot, and I hope that you guys will learn from Tessica's injuries or Tessica's ordeal. Make sure that anytime that you guys grab something, make sure you read it.